Hi, here is my review for The Forbidden Door by Dean Koontz. This is book number four in the Jane Hart series. This was released by Random House Publishers on September 11th. I love this book and I gave it four and a half stars. Here is the publisher's description. When this relentless rogue FBI agent comes knocking, her adversaries will have to answer with their lives in this latest thrilling Jane Hawk novel by the New York best-selling author of The Silent Corner. We're rewriting the play, and the play is the country, the world, the future. We break Jane's heart, and we'll also break her will. She was one of the FBI's top agents so she became, until she became the nation's most wanted fugitive. Now, Jane Hawk may be all that stands between a free nation and enslavement by a powerful secret society's terrifying mind control technology. She couldn't save her husband or others whose lives had been destroyed, but equipped with superior tactical and survival skills and a fury born of a broken heart and a hunger for justice, Jane has struck major blows against an insidious cabal. But Jane's worries are about to hit back hard. In their best, uh, if their best operatives can't outrun her, they mean to bring her running to them, using her five-year-old son as bait. Jay knows that there is no underestimating their capabilities, but she must battle her way back across the country to the remote shelter where her boy is safely hidden for now. As she moves relentlessly forward, new threats begin to emerge, a growing number of brain-altered victims driven hopelessly, violently insane. With the madness spreading like a virus, the war between Jane and her enemies will become a fight for their lives against the lethal terror unleashed from behind the forbidden door. Don't miss any of Jane of Dean Koontz's gripping Jane Hawk thrillers. They are The Silent Corner, The Whispering Room, and The Crooked Staircase. Of course, this is The Forbidden Door. The next one in the series is The Night Window, which is coming next year. Here are my thoughts. Now, if you had been reading the series to date, especially the third book, which is The Crooked Staircase, be reminded that Jane Hawk was racing to keep her five-year-old son Travis out of danger. The Techno-Arcadians, who are a powerful group of extremists with connections to the highest level, have been a major threat to Jane, who, formerly an FBI agent, is now the nation's most wanted fugitive. The group is closer than ever would have been imagined because now they have the very life of Travis as a threat against Jane. A bit more about this group, the Techno-Arcadians. They have a far reach with the end goal of controlling humanity. Their methods are nothing less than terrifying. If you've been following this series, you'll see that it's patently obvious that they've come very close to perfecting this brain implants that they're doing, and they're doing this via injections. This is utterly eerie as they are out for complete control. The victims can and will do horrendous things. It is due to these horrifying actions that have Jane both on the run for her life, but also struggling to save Travis. Although it's been months since I read the third book in the series, The Crooked Staircase, the overwhelming loss of life that had already occurred and that continues to be occurred, well, especially the loss regarding Travis's protectors, that's fresh in my mind. Now, as with the three previous stories, the danger is ever-present, the action is non-stop. It's page after page of nefarious characters and terror. The Forbidden Door is presented to us in six thrilling parts. Each one gets more captivating as the story intensifies. Now, there's one particular trigger that I'd like to mention at this point in this review. That trigger is, quote-unquote, quote-unquote, Uncle Ira is not Ira. Does that sound familiar at all? Does that ring a bell? Would you happen to remember the novel or the film or both, Invasion of the Body Snatchers? Yes, that. Very creepy. While this chilling story carries you through, there are often moments of heartbreak. I just briefly and generally mentioned that there are two characters that had my heart in a bind. Because the story is given to us in various points of view. We have Jane's point of view. We have the various characters, whether good or bad. We have their points of view, their stories, their progress. But we also have a couple of characters who really pulled at my heartstrings.
but I don't want to give any spoilers, so I'll just leave it at that. The book itself may seem long at first glance. I mean, it is 480 pages, but don't let that deter you at all. The chapters are short enough to keep you continuing to turn pages quickly, quickly. So, if you're a Dean Koons fan, if you've been enjoying this series so far, then definitely pick up The Forbidden Door. Now, I've had the pleasure of reading all the previous books in the series. I will say that there is enough of a backstory that you could read this as a standalone, but really, you don't want to. You do want to pick up the whole series. I will link the review that I've written for my blog in the description below. The review itself will also link to other reviews for the series that I've done so far. In the description, I will also put a link to Amazon, which I am affiliated with, so that should you use the link to purchase The Forbidden Door, please know in advance that there will be a few pennies that would go to my Amazon account, but it won't affect the cost of the book to you at all. Your cost will remain the same. I think that's it. That's The Forbidden Door by Dean Koontz. Don't miss this book. Don't miss this series. And that's all I can say. So I hope you liked the review, but what's more is I hope you liked the book. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.